This is the 74LS181 ALU that functions as the brains of Chump. It can perform 16 logic operations and 16 arithmetic ones. This board here is designed to be able to easily demonstrate any of these operations. So why 16 of each type of operation? Well, a logical operation performed on two inputs can be in four states. Either A is on and B is off, vice versa, both on or both off, and each of these states can be either a 1 or a 0, depending on what type of operation you're doing. This gives us 2 to the power of 4, or 16 possible logical operations on two inputs. You can see this here in the ALU logic table, which you can pause and scan over. You'll find that every possible combination of outputs is accounted for. To show this on the board, here's a complement operation, which simply outputs the A input inverted. And here's an AND operation, which outputs a high signal for any pair of A and B inputs that are both high. The arithmetic operations, which we can access by flipping the mode bit high, are a bit more confusing. Some of them even seem useless, like A or not B plus A. However, there's a reason behind every arithmetic operation present in the ALU. Each one has a corresponding logic operation that is performed on A and B, then added to A, along with the active low carry input. For example, A plus B corresponds to the logical output equals B, and output equals not B corresponds to A minus B minus 1? So why is that? Well, to subtract two numbers, computers use what's called two's complement notation. From our perspective, when the computer has to subtract a larger number from a smaller number, it starts counting down until it hits zero then wraps around to the maximum value it can hold, in this case 15, and keeps going. From the computer's perspective, there's a neat way to negate a number like this. Simply invert the bits and add 1 to give a negative representation of the number. Of course, the computer doesn't know whether the number stored is a positive number or it's negative 2's complement, which is why programmers have to differentiate between signed and unsigned integers in lower level languages like C. For this reason, we turn on the carry bit in the ALU to get an A minus B instruction. CPUs will often have indicators called flags to figure out if the number the ALU outputs is negative or positive, among other things like whether the operation produced a carry bit. Chump has only one flag, and it comes from the ALU's A equals B pin, which is a bit of a misleading name that I think incredibly undersells the functionality of the pin. The name would have you think that this pin checks if the two inputs are equal, which is true, but only when performing an A minus B minus 1 instruction. In reality, the pin becomes high impedance when all outputs are high, and sinks current if they're not. So when performing A minus B minus 1, equality between the two inputs results in 0 minus 1 equals negative 1 equals all outputs on. So it becomes high impedance. In Chump, the pin is not actually used as a comparator, but instead for the goTo and if0 instructions. The program counter will jump to an address supplied by the opcode when a control bit is off, and when the Z flag is off. For a goTo instruction, the A equals B pin should always be syncing current, therefore we use a logic1 operation. For an if0, it syncs if A equals 0, therefore we use a not A instruction. As for progress on the chump build, I have mostly finished the ALU and RAM section of the build and am cur currently working through the smaller peripherals such as the address register, after which I will implement the control EEPROM, and with any luck, it'll all come together nicely.